Hello and welcome to another Cracking the Cryptic and today I'm just going to have a, a go at a live solve of today's Times Cryptic here. Um, it's a Monday puzzle so hoping it should be fairly straightforward and I'm just going to go for it and then maybe tell you some of what I was thinking afterwards. So let's have a look at what comes up. Here we go. Right. Okay, wind was single flute, perhaps. No, could be something to do with an instrument. Twisted injury, sort of stitch. An oldie lacking resilience without backbone. No strings attached. No, it doesn't quite fit. Gracious virtue. Gracious, probably like a kind of half swear word. Key Largo's ultimate voice, alto. Largo's ultimate is O, and out, alt, is one of the keys on your keyboard. Wind was single. Oh, wind was single. We get a flute, wine glass, that sort of flute. Very neat clue. Five down. Nelson has come around in state of semi consciousness. Oh, there's some sort of anagram going on there. Um, twisted injury, wound or wound. In front of both reactors and incinerators, waste bags. Oh, I can't see that. Dissimilar to cricketer, perhaps. Not cricket. Unsportsmanship. Is that a word? Unsportsmanlike, that's a word, and kind of means both of those. Not like a sportsman and not cricket. An oldie, no spring chicken, one of the favourite phrases of the Times crossword recently. Now the gracious virtue, so that's goodness, it is a sort of semi-swear word like gracious and it means virtue. Nelson has come around. In state of semi consciousness. It looks like it begins semi, but that would be a bit duplicating. One following another into accident and emergency, which is A and E. Oh. Something clarified about crew on call in Bedfordshire town. That's often tring. Something clarified that could be a butter or something. Oh, about crew, so that and the crew could be eight. Leighton Buzzard is a Bedfordshire town, so certainly not Tring at this time. Right, awful old English king secured by rope, execrable. R in cable after X E. Iberian character Tilda. Spaniards back is D and hat is tile, one following another. Oh, tandem is hidden in accident and emergency. Very neat spot. Let's have a look at ten across. Wow, in front of both reactors and incinerators. Oh, during, right. Um, R and I and done. Now, as one wearing tie, proceed to the left. Together would fit, but I can't see why. Let's keep going with the acrosses. Show after bend what's in front of the driver. Windscreen is in front of the driver. Screen after wind. Device that destroys a good deal. Bottom two meanings. Island, not very far, inch, two meanings, almost all numbers to sort out. That's about a hundred to decipher. It looks like unscramble, yeah, it's a bit of an anagram there, around the number C. A worry, hardy character, bears without end. No. 13 down, bracelet that's right for sweater, so that's wristband. Uh, small dog's head, black D and inky, 18 down, agent keeping general quiet, Lee and spy, burning like something hot, as keen as mine, 
steamed brandy at fancy restaurant in the open air. So it's an anagram tea god. Okay, twelve down now. Um, nut to rip off crankshaft. Part of engine. Nineteen across looks like tailless without end. A ill in test. Oh, if I could type, we would be getting somewhere. Okay. 20 across. Is this hotter than a smoking jacket? Blazer. It's a kind of pun. Bolted boxes gathering gas. Radon is the gas there. Um, shelf inside a flap that's raised in an old weapon. I'm trying to that lister, which is a tab raised with sill inside measure of length in each book so millimeter in m in ea for each somnolence state of semi-consciousness and this does look like together but why as one wearing tie proceed to the left wow i don't get that oh go uh, in tether, go going leftwards. Okay, six minutes, not that good. Not that good for that puzzle. I think that was very accessible. Now, as Simon suggests sometimes, talking through it is a kind of slight delay. Um, that said, there were a lot of ways of getting going with some of the... Um, the definitions were often very straightforward there. There were quite a lot of double definitions in the middle of the puzzle. Let's just go back over some that I I know I glossed over quite quickly. Um, one was an anagram, one across. You have to wind, read that as wind, not wind. And you have to wind the letters of was single around to get a, a flute, as in a wind flute. Um, six was D in tile. Oh yeah, ten across. I don't think I had time to explain that. That was the fronts of the words reactors and incinerators, so R and I. And then a word for waste, dung, bags them, it um, contains them, and you get during, which I guess means in, just in, just the... Look at that, that's a uh, ten-letter clue. Ten, no, a nine-word clue, and only the first word in is the definition. Very unusual. So 11 across that I finished on here was um, go, going to the left, in tether. And as one was the definition. Again, that's pretty, pretty tight. Um, then we had a kind of charade made up of two definitions at 13, then just double definitions at 14 and 16. 17 was an anagram of most of all, all of numbers, and all of that all anagrammed around the letter C. Um, this blazer was quite a neat hun, a pun. Is this hotter than a smoking jacket? Well, the implication is that a Smoking jacket is just smoking, but a blazing a blazer is a blaze. Um, yeah, 25 was an anagram as well. And then in the downs, there were a few I didn't actually figure out while I was doing them. So two down, an oldie was no spring chicken. Um, lacking resilience is kind of having no spring. And without backbone is an adjectival phrase for cowardly or chicken. So I'm not convinced that the no spring part stands up there to scrutiny, but neat enough. Three down, a double definition. Ah, five down. Nelson has come around. So it's just an anagram of Nelson and come. Didn't see that particularly at the time, but somnolence is a state of semi-consciousness in a way. Six was that neat hidden. Ah, seven down. Something clarified about crew. Oh, buzz. Okay. So eight on buzz is crew on call. And something clarified about that is Lord to give us a latent buzzard. Um, which is a wonderful name for a town. I think 
it's a Bill Bryson claim that 70% of British place names are amusing and certainly Leighton Buzzard qualifies. Um, eight down was yeah made up of R in cable after EX for old and E for English. Twelve down was crank is the nut as in a fruitcake kind of a weirdo and to rip off is to shaft. Um, 13, oh yeah, I just wrote in wristband. Wow. I now see waistband would have fitted, and that has to do with clothes as well. Wristband is a bracelet. Um, not actually sure I'm seeing why that's right for sweater. Oh, I see. It's just a cryptic definition because you wear a wristband to kind of wipe the sweat off your face or something. So, not convinced that really works brilliantly, but I think that's how it works. Fifteen, the slightly odd vocabulary word here, ballista, which was an old Roman catapult-type weapon, I think. Um, and that's sill in a tab, all reversed. 18 was Lee, General Lee, in, in a spy. Um, 21 was Radon, Bolted Boxes, Gathering um, Gas. And that's very neatly worded. Um, the do, the gathering is a do, D-O, and ran is bolted. So although it looks like bolted is an adjective, boxes is a noun, gathering is um, a participle and gas is a noun. In fact, bolted is a verb, ran. Boxes is another verb, meaning contains. Gathering is actually a noun. So three of the words in that clue are not doing what you think they're doing when you read the surface, which is really neat. So there's some very nice clues there, quite good fun. and. Um, Hope you've learned something from that. Thank you very much for watching with me. I uh, hope to see you again on Cracking the Cryptic.